In the previous video, we did the basics of MS Excel. In this video, we'll be learning about formulas and how to perform simple calculations like sum, average, and so on. So, basically, what's a formula? A formula is a set of instructions which perform a calculation based on numbers entered in specific cells. So, the first basic A requirement is that all formulas start with an equal sign. For example, I have this data here. So, we just came up with the names uh, to represent the marks which they scored in the applications, design, PC maintenance, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So, we are trying now to calculate the total of these values. So, the first person is John. Number one, in Excel, we don't type in a formula the values inside the cell. We type the name of the cell. I remember in the previous video, I walked you through on how we label cell and give them cell names. Example, John has the first marks, which is 87. 87 is in the cell B2. So, first things first, when I come here to the total, I type is equals, I key in the first cell name of the marks which John got in the application I packages. So, how do we do it? This cell, we can either click on it or else it automatically shows you the value, the cell name B2. Or else you can type B2 manually. It's actually the same thing. Plus, the next cell is C2. Again, one more time, 98 is in cell C2. So, we can either click on it or you can type manually C2. So, I'll prefer the clicking method since it's very easy. Plus, the other one, plus CSS, plus JavaScript, then at the end, I press enter on my keyboard. It automatically gives you the max. So that's how you, you calculate the sum or the total here. Now, that's the manual way on how we do the calculation. Let's say we want to use now the proper way. So before you go to the proper way or the standard way or using the FX, I would like to teach you something called autofill. Autofill is basically an AI feature which is in Microsoft Excel such that if I have the first day of the week which is Monday in English the second day is Tuesday if I click on the cell here and I come to the bottom right corner of the cell my pointer changes to a plus sign now I'm going to teach you the pointers and what they do specifically if your pointer looks like a big plus sign it means that you just click hold you make a, a, a selection now if you come to the border here and it changes to a four-headed arrow. It means that you can click all, you move that data to where you want. Now, if you click on the first one, you will come to the bottom right corner. It changes to a simple plus sign. This means that you are out of feeling. So it means that Excel uses its AI features to automatically identify the next moves which you want to make. For example, I click, I hold, I drag down. Excel automatically autofills the days of the week because it uses artificial intelligence. Now, that's what we call autofill. Next thing, I come here to total. Instead of doing a, the manual way, whereby you, you type in is equals, you click on the first one, you plus, that's the long method manual way. A computer is made to make work easier for you. So, I click here on the FX, which is actually the functions. So, I click on the function, it gives you here the insert function dialog box, which shows you the select a category. So these are the most recently used one. You can click on the arrow. You have more options, either for lookup, for statistical, for math, date and time, financial, or all of them. Let's just talk the most recently used. So total means addition. Addition means sum. So you just click on sum here. Then you say, you know what? Okay. It asks you about the, uh, the arguments. What are the arguments? The arguments are simply inputs required by the function and, the, and it is simply enclosed in parentheses. Example, the brackets. So what Excel is asking is, yes, you want the sum, but what are you doing the sum of? So we highlight, we, we click from the first one, we highlight until the end, the last subject here. This part specifically is highlighted. So. The function here, which is sum, is going to automatically use these values or these cells as your arguments, which are now the ones which we use to calculate and know the sum of. So we say, OK, it gives you the answer. So from there, we don't need to do the rest of the other formulas.
We do minimum the same thing, come to function here, you say min, you click on OK, you highlight what you're doing, the minimum of, say OK, out of field. That's how easy it is. Same thing with maximum, come to FX, click on max, which means a maximum, click on OK, highlight the arguments which you want, say OK, out of field. Same thing with the number of subjects, which actually means count. So you're counting the number of subjects which are here. So you come to FX, you say count, you say OK, highlight what you're counting, say OK, out of field. Oh. That's how we calculate and we do the formulas, basic formulas. Remember, we have the basic Excel and we have the advanced Excel now. So the other shortcut I'm going to show you now is how to do the sum using the auto sum feature or the auto sum option. So when you highlight your work, don't press on backspace. If you press on backspace, it's, it's going to just delete the first formula here. So highlight your work, press on delete on your keyboard. I'll click here now. Yeah, I want to calculate the total or the sum of all of these values here. So I highlight all of the values plus where the answer will be. Then I click on auto sum. That's how easy it is. It still gives me the function and it automatically calculates for you the total for all the values which are highlighted. Thank you very much. See you on our next video. Like, subscribe and share.